Right, let's um, make a turn on of this uh, miner. First, let's open the fix it kit. I think I'm gonna need maybe no, I think this is the one. Yeah. Right. Let's get the miner. All right, let's see here. So all we need is this. So the reason I'm making this teardown video is I want to see some uh, thermals. I want to see how they handle the thermal um, aspects of this miner. I want to see if they have some kind of heat sink in place. I read online that these uh, metal, metal barriers here actually help with cooling. Um, but I want to see on the inside how they connect the Raspberry Pi module to these heat sinks. So um, that's why I'm making this, this teardown. Um, so, yeah. I guess we should just try to open it. I'm going to go ahead and unscrew it here. This is the, un the first time I open it. Okay, so the magnetics can be sitting on there. I mean the screws, they can uh, be on this plate, it's magnetic, so yeah. Whoops. All right, one screw to go. Oh, it's already moving around. Okay, so this is just a metal plate. It's completely flat. So there might be some heat that goes on here and out to the other side, but there's no connection underneath the miner, um, at least on that side. So here is the modules. This is the lower module that actually sends out the signal through this wire uh, and through here, which is where you can connect an antenna. So, and then there is, oh, there's actually two USB ports. Uh, but I don't know if they are powered or not. I'm quite unsure about that. But that's definitely interesting that there's... But they're blocked off here, so I don't know if they do anything. Um, but yeah, I think we should try to unscrew the other side here. Alright, so let's just put this here. Whoops. I'll just put it here. Nope, it's not magnetic. I'll leave it here. Let's see what we got underneath here. I will say, honestly, the rack miner seems really well built. Um, this metal seems to be kind of high quality. It, it has a really nice finish to it. Which I think it's awesome because from if you don't pay scalper prices, the, the miner itself is only like $500, which when you think about the returns that they could potentially make, it's actually cheap. Um, and the fact that it's so well built actually means that, well, it's, it's nice, it's comforting. So I have two Nebra miners and they are not nearly as well built as this one. Like this is way better, um, definitely way better. All right, so this last screw is out. Let's see. Okay, I actually cannot pull out the base, it seems. There might be a screw I need to unscrew here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. Gonna leave those in this corner down here.
Now, if you want to do this at home, please be aware that it's going to void your warranty. So I'm going to do it for you in this video and you can just watch and see what is inside of your Nipper Miner. Okay, so I have taken out this um, these screws, but it doesn't seem like I can pull this out actually. So I want to be really careful because I don't want to ruin the miner. That would be very expensive for me. But it seems that with, with a little bit of wiggling, you can actually pull this out. But I'm a little scared to do so. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be coming out. I think there's some connectors in the way. Like, I don't think it's easy to just pull it out any more than I have already. So maybe what I will do is I will um, try to find an image online on what the underneath here looks like. And I'll try to put it in the video so you guys can see how the thermals actually work on this one. But I'm not going to take it apart anymore. I just wanted to see the insides of this miner. It looks cool and it doesn't look like I need to put a fan like inside. I think if you had a fan on this outside part here, I think that would be good enough actually. Um, so yeah, it looks great. I'm going to put it back together and uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, one more thing. There is a little um, tap down here that you can remove when you need to change the SD card. Um, I'm going to make an SD card exchange video, very sure how to do this, but just for now I'll try to open this tab and see the SD card that's in there. So you should be able to just get something thin underneath here. Alright, so I went to get a knife now and I'll see if I can actually get underneath here and peel it off. Alright. Seems to be like a sticker or something. It's kind of hard, but it needs to. I almost want to say cut up like I am doing right now. That might actually be the easiest way. There we go. Not very clean, but as you can see right there, there's the SD card. You will be able to pull out and I don't know if you can see it. Here's the SD card right here. You'll be able to pull it out with some pliers and then replace it with a bigger one or a better one. I will make a video on that soon. Um, but yeah, so nice. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.